Thank you for that lovely cup of tea, Mrs. Madeline. But I must be going now. Going? Going where? I don't know. Just going. What? Do you want to go? Why not? Because I, I, I built my house in your apartments. And if you go, where will I live? What you just heard was a line from Mr. Samuel's Tea Time, a web series, or what I'll call a web series, that I've become weirdly fascinated with, even though it's only on episode two. And I'd like to share my fascination with you all. So let's get into it. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to be drawing Miss Madeline. Madeline, one of the main characters and who I believe to be one of Mr. Samuel's like guardians or, or siblings or a, a daughter or some shit. She's something, and that related to Mr. Samuel, and that very much intrigues me. Or she's just a character that, that represents Mr. Samuel's passing of time, which could also be an interesting take. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm very interested in this web series, and I want to explain, explain some things and some theories that people have about it so far. A common one that I'm seeing a lot is that we are focusing on Mr. Samuel, obviously, and his... Di- and his dealing with of dementia and how he sees the world at this point. Now, Mr. Samuel's tea time is very interesting in the sense that everything feels so nostalgic, but so foreign at the same time. Like you've lived this this game, like you've lived this show before, but you just don't remember it too well. Which I think is just so interesting because if we are going based off of a dementia, th- off the dementia theory, then that would make sense because, well, you remember everything. You have bar- you barely ever have any memory of your of your life. You have these small glimpses of what could have been, could have been real, but you can't tell either way. You ba- you have these war- these people, these characters that you have in your your life, but you can't remember who they are or what point they have. God, I'm all over the place with this video, but like. I just, I'm so interested in this thing, and it just, it's so fascinating to have something that I, I love at the beginning of it, right away, and I just, no question, I love this thing, but I want to, like, speak more about, like, why I'm interested in it, or what, like, intrigues me about it, because for the, as, for the first episode, it was so interesting, because there was no clear point to it, you had interesting setups but like no payoff and you had and I remember this line where like it was something like the a, they get a letter and they get and the person asks well how to make the t- might make time stop or how to make things stop stop and the person is like blaming Mr. Samuel or something for for what's happening but like Mr. Samuel says to make things better you make your bed every day and you do it because, he pauses, because it's important. He can't remember why it's important to do something as m- simple as making your bed. It is so interesting to me. And sorry if you're hearing like noises around me. I'm I'm sitting on the floor and I can't sit still for like the life of me. But like, then there's Miss Madeline, who I love to death, right by the way. Because in the second episode, you can see her like, it's like she's been dealing with with Mr. Samuel's stories and stuff for the longest time and like she's the only one that seems to recognize that things are just continuing to do the same thing over and over again except for this one character that like okay there was another character in like a story time that wasn't a main character but but they were talking about how like oh it's been tea time for so long but and i can't, getting sick of drinking tea but I'll, but all we can do is drink tea because it's tea time all the time and like miss madeline madeline i'm madeline or something like that I, i'm already forgetting her name <laughs> She's like so tired. She seems so tired of it in the second episode. Like she's like, oh no, oh dear, stuff like that. Where she's like standing up and there's like a hole in the floor. I'm going all over the place, <laughs> but there's like a hole in the floor in this episode, and it seems like it's disturbing everybody. But they're kind of trying to ignore it because it's like it's something different to the world. But like they want to ignore it because they're so used to the same thing every single day that they just kind of want to get back to routine. It's so interesting to me, and I don't know why, but it's, oh my god. 
And then there's these two, like, what I'll call side characters, but they've appeared in, in both episodes so far that are, like, a, a male snail and, like, like a male-giving snail and, like, a star a star person. And the star person is was, was one of the ones that was in the intro bit where, like, you can't live in my bone. You can't live in my bones. There's, there's my bones. I, I guess I didn't include that part, but nonetheless, still. And uh, the male person, the male snail, wanted to like. He seems very depressed. Like in the second episode, he said something I don't remember what, but it was depressing as fuck. But um, with that, we end today's video. I guess. Please, I beg of you, go watch Mr. Samuel's Tea Time. It is so intriguing. I know I keep saying that, but it's so intriguing. But uh, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day slash night, and bye bye.